Hi everybody, it's December 21, 2017. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along to me. This was taken the morning of December 19. And as you can see, there are an awful lot of frequencies being set off primarily in South Carolina, off the coast of South Carolina, extending into uh, North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, as far down as North Florida, Panhandle. Not good. The crossing of these laser beams, the crossing of the scalar beams, very dangerous. I live here in upstate South Carolina. I've been hearing from a lot of you who are really struggling trying to um, function. You all sensitive to the frequencies and yeah, I'm one of the lucky ones to be sensitive to these frequencies and I have really been struggling lately. When you see the orange, red, yellow within these beams. You know that the atmosphere is being excited by these frequencies to create heat in the atmosphere. I'm going to show you some film that I took here in South Carolina on the 18th and 19th and I knew that we would get rain, and I knew that it would get warmer here. But look at how defined is this precipitation right here in Texas. That is not Mother Nature. That is caused by frequencies. So what does this article say? It says this was the morning of the 19th. This laser play has moved from the Florida Panhandle, Alabama, and Georgia the day before east and north, as can be seen here. When lasers impact in the atmosphere, one byproduct is heat, as seen in the hot colors, such as orange and red. For those that have researched, this is known to be scalar bottle R and D. Scalar bottle R and D. If you're not, uh, if you're not an engineer or a physicist, it takes an extraordinarily long time to understand to understand how all of this works. But I will link below to this article: scalar operations in Nevada with short mid-Atlantic weather modification. So, this has to do with the next generation, NEXRAD, has to do with scalar technology. And here, what you are seeing is next generation R&D advancing Tesla scalar bottle paradox which enters into the unknowns of esoteric multidimensional abstracts. Tesla's data uses only two converging lasers intersecting. And here we can see a fan or a wedge of radio frequency, electromagnetic frequency crossed by several lasers. I am thinking not really in our best interest. Make CERN child's play. Yes, it is not in our best interest at all. In fact, it is incredibly dangerous. The research that I did that I had posted on my original Kafka Winston World channel on this scalar technology and the crossing of these scalar beams, exceedingly dangerous to all life. They can create explosions. They can create um, earthquakes. They can create weather.
So this goes on all of the time. The use of this technology is very dangerous, but this is beyond the Wi-Fi that we are saturated in 24-7. So, if you want to learn how this technology works to create weather, then you will have to do the research. At this point, I only care that it's being done. So, the scalar beam crossing creates this vector, this energy bottle. And from there, they can create instant weather. And that is what you are seeing right here. The heating of the atmosphere. Before I show you what I believe to be the black carbon dust that they dump into the atmosphere, that they they have done over and over and over again so many videos that I have posted on my various channels. I'll show you the black carbon dust that was dumped into the atmosphere on the 18th, on the 19th here, and I knew that we would get warm temperature, and we did. Yesterday, or two days ago, I, I can't even remember, it was 72 degrees. Weather modification by carbon dust absorption of solar energy. This is back in 1976. 1976, they have perfected weather modification. There are so many different ways in which they can create, intensify, modify, manipulate weather events. It is so unfortunate that we cannot get people to act like adults, be responsible, and do the right thing, which is to do the research on all of what we are trying to point out. No, instead they act like children, they roll their eyes, they call us crazy. So what can black carbon dust do? Well, it can enhance rainfall. And when you see types of possible mesoscale weather alteration, it's not possible. It is a fact that they can do this. Rainfall enhancement. Why aren't they creating the rain to put out the fires in California? Cirrus cloud generation. Reduction in intensity of the hurricane's inner core circulation. Think about our hurricanes. Think about all of the flooding in Houston and the surrounding area. Why haven't they used the methods to uh, decrease the strength of these hurricanes? Cumulonimbus enhancement over selected land regions in need of precipitation. Alteration of cyclones. They can intensify or decrease the strength of cyclones, inhibit frost by raising daytime, daytime temperature, and they can accelerate snow melt in all areas, not just agricultural areas. So with this black carbon dust, they can increase the atmospheric temperature quite a lot by dumping this black carbon dust into the atmosphere. They can excite it and produce those changes very quickly, or they can wait to excite it because it just kind of lingers in the atmosphere. They can do it at another time, whenever they so choose to increase our temperature. So the link is below. Here's another document that proves weather modification, the extreme weather events, we hear this Jerry Brown talk about it's climate change and these fires in California, you're going to see them more frequently. 
and we cannot get people to realize that they are being attacked with weather weapons. So this was the 18th, December 18, Anderson, South Carolina. How did I know that it was going to rain? And how did I know that it was going to get warmer? All you have to do is look at the sky and look at all of these pulsating frequencies. Pay attention to the pulsating frequencies. Is it a wonder that so many people are struggling to get back their health, to feel okay, to stop feeling physical pain? One third of our population suffers from chronic physical pain today. And all you have to do is look at what you are watching right now. Look at all of the lines that I show you. Look at the pulsating frequency when the camera goes in and out of focus. Those are pulsating frequency, microwave frequencies, these electromagnetic frequencies cause physical pain. Wow. Then it comes right into focus. Yeah, I'm tired of it. I'm hearing from more and more of you who are really suffering, just trying to function. Basic functioning is getting difficult for people. More and more are having difficulty thinking clearly, concentrating more hearing the ringing in their ears much louder. I describe it as buzzing. It is much louder. Very, very difficult now to even distract myself from the buzzing during the day. Look at that pulsating frequency. So you see all of the black, you see all of the gray. I suppose people think that that is the CO2 or the pollution that is causing global warming. You try to educate them. You try to say, look, you've got to do some research and want to know why it's so warm, want to know why our temperature went from uh, 30 degrees to 72 degrees. Black carbon dust right smack in your face right there. Yes, they can increase the temperature. Atmospheric heating via black carbon dust. Look at this sky. Look at this sky. It is so magnificently unnatural. And it is just, it, it's, I don't, I'm shell-shocked. I've been shell-shocked. I live shell-shocked that people are not really alarmed by what they are seeing in their sky. Now, when you look at all of these pulsating frequencies, no, when you're just going about your business outside, during the day, you don't see the pulsating frequencies, but you see them right there in that camera. And you wonder why so many people are having car accidents. So the frequencies have been very bad here. A subscriber in Arizona. I learn that she and all three of her children got the flu after heavy spraying. Michigan, a subscriber in Michigan. After heavy spraying, she gets a weird virus. My neighbor has a dog with a respiratory infection. More and more, more and more are getting sick, really struggling. Black 
carbon dust dumped into the atmosphere. They can spray it into the atmosphere. They can drop payloads in clouds and activate those payloads via the microwave frequencies. Now, this is a new development here. I don't even know what that is. I just noticed it three days ago. Some kind of antenna. This was on the 19th. Two days ago. And the day after, on the 20th, we had 72 degrees. Wasn't a surprise to me. I knew it the night before. But you see the, the that chemtrail, they were just, it. one plane would go, and then you'd have another plane right smack on its butt, laying another chemtrail, and everywhere you look, it's a chemtrail. The morning of the 19th, it was clear. They covered it up. They took away our sun in a matter of a half hour, and then we were left with this guy. Natural, really? Clouds, white clouds that release black crap, gray crap. It is so... Yeah, I'll say it again. It's heartbreaking to see man destroy Mother Nature, destroy nature itself, destroy life itself. But when you struggle on a daily basis just trying to get through the day because of how you're feeling, you exercise, you come back, and you're racked with pain from head to toe, but this is what you are looking at while you're walking. Is it really a surprise that I should be in so much pain? No, it's not. This is what we live today. These sick bastards, twisted psychopaths. who clearly feel like it's absolutely fine to just dump into our atmosphere all of these chemicals, all of these heavy metals, all of this black carbon dust that we breathe, that we breathe. Yeah, it's rather upsetting. I believe that that is the appropriate response to this. So, thank you for watching. Hope you get the information out there. Look at this sky. All of the black carbon dust that warmed up our atmosphere for the following day.